What's going on everybody, this is Snowman. Welcome to another episode of Free Game Friday, and the first game we're gonna be looking at today is called Super Mario Bros. and the Midas Machine. Now I actually heard about this from my friend Tanuki Tales, and it is technically a fan game, but the content is so original and vast I just had to share it. Everything in this game was built from the ground up, from the original pixel art to an amazing soundtrack, and even the story is completely different than a typical Mario adventure. You're working for EGAD, and you need to collect the mushrooms so he can inspect them, so they're not the power-ups anymore, they are the collectibles. And even the bosses and enemies are so creative, you're not going to be fighting Bowser and his minions in this game. But perhaps the best part is that you can play as multiple characters. Mario has his wall jump ability, Luigi has his super jump, but you can even play as Wario and Waluigi and they have their abilities from their games as well. It's just such a cool concept and brings all the best parts of Mario together into one fan game. Now this is only a demo so far, but it's such a long demo I definitely still think it's worth checking out. The second game we're going to be looking at today is called Chimera Destroy All Monsters, and this is by Suits and Sandals, one of my favorite developers. They made uh, VistaQuest Pocket and many other games. But this one's really cool. Basically, you play as this girl that was made by a scientist to just be a house cleaner, but then pirates came and stole all the treasure, so he installed a golem arm on you, and now you're ready to just go beat him up. But this game actually has a lot to offer. Obviously, you're going to be beating up enemies with your basic attack and a stronger attack, but there's also secrets hidden in the walls where you can find collectibles, and I think what I enjoyed most was actually the dash ability. You can use this to speed through a level, but there's also a lot of different platforming elements that it uses this, and you need to master it just as much as the rest of the game. The bosses are cool, and you can unlock different parts of the map by finding more secrets. There is just a really cool game. I feel like it kind of took inspiration from some of our favorite platformers of years past, and almost even like a little Shovel Knight vibe in it. So definitely go check it out, it's a really fun game. And finally, the last game we're going to be looking at today is called Super Crate Box. And this is basically an arcade style action game where your goal is to collect as many crates as possible. Now you die in one hit, so you need to be extra careful to not get hit by enemies, this game is actually really hard. But every time you collect a crate, it switches the weapon that you have. So things get chaotic really quick, you have to think on your feet and use each weapon to your advantage. Some of them are really fun, like a flamethrower, but there's also like a disc gun that can slice enemies in half, but also you, so you have to be careful. But your goal is to just work up the biggest high score, and you can unlock new levels and new guns and new characters by doing so. It's really quick and fast paced, but I had a blast playing it, you should definitely check it out. All three of today's games are in the description below as always, and I'll see you guys in next month's episode of Free Game Friday.